So, after weeks of speculation, the FIA ruled that Red Bull were guilty of a breach of Formula 1's cost cap, which debuted in 2021 to level the playing field and limit teams to spending a maximum of $145 million per year. Now, the budget cap saga took another twist on Monday as Red Bull hit back, so stick around to the end of the video for all the information. Red Bull had been confident that they would avoid any sanction for breaching the cost cap, given their firm belief that they had fallen below it. However, this was quashed by the FIA. The sport's governing body found the team guilty of a minor breach, meaning they went over the cap by a figure of less than 5%. Now, there are a few sports that don't require a dime to play, Formula 1 in particular has always been the antithesis of those. By its very nature, large sums of money are required even to bring a single Grand Prix to life. Most of the drivers hail from wealthy or connected families, without which they wouldn't have gone into motorsport in the first place. The cars themselves represent the peak of automotive technology, backed by brands keen to show theirs is the best. And let's just say that's a fight that can't be won on a shoestring. Still, as every ordinary household on the planet is figuring out right now, a little sacrifice can bring a lot of savings. Neither of those two S-words come naturally to decision makers immersed in a competitive struggle, but regulations can force them to tighten their belts. And though such rules came to Formula 1 far later than they did to many other sports and even other motorsport categories, they're now a big part of the game at the pinnacle too. Now, the 2021 budget cap was set at $145 million, a fairly low sum of money considering that the biggest teams were reportedly spending close to $400 million previously. That $145 million was also a sizable gap away from the original plan to have the cap set at $175 million in 2021, a figure that was drastically reduced due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, which put several teams on the edge of severe financial trouble. This season, that budget was originally lowered to its $140 million, though due to inflation and prices rising worldwide, it's been adjusted in line. The amount of races on the sports calendar and the additional sprint races throughout the season also saw that cap rise. At present, the 2023 cost cap is set at $135 million. However, again, given inflation relating to worldwide events and the inclusion of additional races that have already been announced for next season, the budget is likely to increase in correlation. The statement released by the FIA said Red Bull overspent within the Formula 1 cost cap regulations, but it didn't issue a punishment, which is the element that had been most anticipation and trepidation over when it was known a breach would be announced. Oracle Red Bull Racing is considered to be in procedural and minor overspend breaches of the financial regulations. The review of the reporting documentation submitted has been an intensive and thorough process, and all competitors gave their full support in providing the required information to assess their financial situation during the first year of the financial regulations. The FIA Cost Cap Administration is currently determining the appropriate course of action to be taken under the financial regulations with respect to Aston Martin and Red Bull, and further information will be communicated in compliance with the regulations. While the wording of the FIA's update offered plenty of opportunity for interpretation and did give us some answers, there are still so many unknowns in a story that has already dragged on longer than many in F1 feel it should have. The nomenclature of minor breach might make it sound like the overspend is trivial, but given it can account for anything under 5% of the cost cap for 2021, that could still be a figure north of $7 million. We don't know how big the overspend is, and only when we know that it will be possible to say how serious it is. But even a minor breach can be significant. Red Bull have hit back at the FIA and have hinted that they will appeal the decision. Christian Horner's team have confirmed they will consider all the options available as they reel from the shock of being found guilty. We note the findings with surprise and disappointment. Our 2021 submission was below the cost cap limit, so we need to carefully review the FIA's findings as our belief remains that the relevant costs are under the 2021 cost cap amount. Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff claims Red Bull's budget cap breach should not be considered minor as it has long-term consequences on the championship battle. According to Wolff, even a minor breach in overspending can make a car faster by up to a tenth of a second, and with Red Bull overspending by millions, he believes Red Bull will inherit an unfair advantage for the next three seasons. I think the word minor is probably not correct, because if you're spending $5 million more and you're still in minor breach, it still has an impact on the championship. We know exactly that we're spending $3.5 million a year in parts that we bring to the car. Then you can say what difference it makes to spend another $500,000. It would be a big difference. Every spend has a more performance advantage. 
Now, Helmut Marko did not take the comments lightly, saying that the Mercedes boss is yet to get over the title loss in Abu Dhabi. It's an ongoing process. There are ongoing discussions where certain points are being clarified. I just find it amazing that something like this gets public. It's bad for our reputation. Abu Dhabi is long gone. It's a bit strange that he still hasn't gotten over it. It's more than surprising how Toto Wolff came up with these numbers. He speaks of a massive overrun. There must be a leak somewhere at the FIA. This now goes beyond the usual political denigration. These are concrete and serious allegations. In our opinion, we're under it. If you interpret that to our disadvantage, we would be marginally over it. Christian Horner warned back in 2020 that whatever limit is set out in a budget cap, teams will always spend an extra 10%. Money is a hot topic among F1 teams right now. The problem is, so much is made about the figure of the cost cap that I believe it's missing the point. F1 teams will always spend whatever budget they have available to them, plus an extra 10%. It's impossible to compare the spending of Ferrari to Haas, or Mercedes to Racing Point, or even from Red Bull to Alpha Tauri. They're all completely different structures and business models. I fully support the need to reduce costs and ensure that all 10 teams remain in the sport, but there are many ways to accomplish that goal, and they're not all just about lowering the cost cap. Instead of a cap, the Briton extolled the virtues of customer cars. If the main target of a cost cap is about being competitive and helping the smaller teams, especially as we come through the current crisis, then I'll be fully open to selling our cars at the final race of the season in Abu Dhabi. Some people say that customer cars are against F1's DNA to design and build your own car. Well, times have changed and we need to find the best way to make the smaller teams competitive and survive the current crisis. This approach works well in MotoGP and it could even attract more teams to the grid, which we would all welcome. We should be less obsessed about the cap and more focused on making the sport competitive. Well, it could be that this first big test case shows the financial regulations are robust and stand up to scrutiny. Even if Red Bull is able to defend its position, that could allow the regulations to be tightened for the future. But if there is a proved overspend and the penalty is not or cannot be as stringent as the cost cap administration wants it to be, it could threaten the integrity and future of the cost cap. This is also a stern test of the FIA and the presidency of Mohammed Ben Sulaim in terms of transparency and its regulatory capabilities. So, what do you think Red Bull's punishment should be? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos.